Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to create a land use map for your presentations using Photoshop. So the first place we're going to go, we're going to go to our browser and we're going to open Google Earth. So in this Google Earth, we're going to go over to this tab here and actually search where we want to go, which is actually this place. So once we've located our site, we can actually rotate it and actually put it to a good view to actually work with it. I'm going to actually rotate the site now by holding the center scroll button on my mouse to actually hold it and rotate it. Now I'm going to click on this icon over here to draw the shape of the site I want to work with. Good. Then they will give me an option to save project. I'll just save it as one and save. Then I'm going to just click this back and actually click this untitled project. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and open snipe on my keyboard. So I'm going to open this snipe tool and I'm just going to click on this new to actually snipe this out. Then I'm going to go and open the snipe tool again and I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to save it where I want to save it. And let me save it as one. So now this is done. I'm going to go over this tab over here, this map styles, and I'm going to click on everything. So once I click on this everything setting, it's going to actually show all the locations here. So I'm actually going to make sure whether you use a book or you use a notepad to actually take note of all these locations. Then I'm also going to click this sniping tool again, click new and screenshot, snipe it again. Let's use snipe it to this point. Then I'm going to click save again and I'm going to save it as two. And I'm going to close it. So now I'm going to open Photoshop. All right, so now we're in Photoshop. We are going to create a new file. So we are just going to go over to this tab here and click on this new file. So we are going to see options of templates or layouts to choose from. But for this video, we are going to be using an A3 landscape um, layout. So we are just going to be making sure our width and height are set properly. Then we are going to click create. We have currently created our layout and where our work plane to start from. So we are going to go back to the folder. Then we are just going to drag it. But we are not going to drag it to this project. We are just going to drag it to this tab over at this top upper part of the screen to actually create a separate Photoshop file. All right. So now we have our image here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to crop it. So we are going to get it in like a box like magic. So I'm just going to click on C. I'm going to click on C to crop it. Okay. Now I'm just going to crop it till I get the box I want. I think somewhere around here will be appropriate so i'm just going to click good all right so now i've cropped it i'm going to click on this move tool then i'm going to select it and convert it to normal layer then i'm just going to ctrl c copy it and i'm going to go to this plane and place it here so now we've placed this inside this plane so we're just going to hold ctrl t to edit the size then we're going to drag it to fill in this play page okay so we're just going to place it somewhere like this and i think this is good so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start bringing in some location tags to actually annotate this land use map properly so we're going to go to this our folder and we're going to drag in this location tag this image is png image is very easy to get you could go to png wing and just search for click for location and you'll be able to locate it so I'm just going to edit the size of this location tag and I'm going to place it here. Let's say somewhere here. Okay, so I think this is good. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually go to this shape tool over here, right click, and we're going to click on this ellipse shapes. So we're going to create a circle. So to make sure it doesn't become an ellipse, you hold your shift key and just drag to create this circle. So we're going to click on select tool to actually move it. So I want to change this circle to white. So I'm just going to go to this, click on it 
I'm going to go to this tab over here, go to this fill, go to this color palette here and change it to white, just drag it to white. Then I'm just going to carry it, I'm going to hold out to zoom in and put it at the center of this point. So we have created the logo. Now the next thing, let's increase it a bit just so it will actually make sense. Okay, so now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to put a text here. So we are going to right click, we are going to click on this text by horizontal or text horizontal, then we are going to just scribble out the text, then we are going to click on this move tool. We are going to move it outside here so we can actually edit it. So now we are going to edit this text. So I am going to go back to this tab, I am going to change this text font to reverse newer. Then I'm also going to change this vertical distance to about 36. Then I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to change the text to 1. And I'm just going to click on this select tool again, move tool to move it. So as you can see, we have actually created a tag here. So now we are going to copy this tag around. To do that, we are going to click on this um, location tag. We are going to hold shift to click on this circle as well. We are going to still hold shift to click on this uh, digit as well. Then we are going to hold alt and we are going to place them in accordance to how the original location map was. So we can open this location map for reference and just look at it side by side. So we have about six locations around it. So we are just going to place it accordingly. So we are going to hold shift or rather alt. We are going to hold alt to copy this text and images go together. We are going to copy one here. We are going to copy one here. We are also going to copy one here. And we are going to copy one here. So we have this clear tag indicating locations on this map. So why did I put the number here? Ah, we are going to see that now. So we are going to go back and look at this image we downloaded or rather we snapped the snipe tool. So we are going to look at these locations and we are going to go to use the internet to actually download images representing these locations. So now we've done that, we are now going to go and start loading in these images. But we are going to edit them before loading them in. So I'm just going to drag it and create a new separate Photoshop file, all of them. I can close this one, I don't need to work on it. So I'm going to do this for all of them. Okay, so now to start working on these images, what we are going to do is we are going to actually crop out a circle inside here of this image. So to do that, we are just going to click on this, right click and click on this ellipse tool. But before we create any ellipse, we are going to go over to this tab here and change this to part instead of shape. So now we are going to hold shift and draw a circular part. And we are going to move this part by selecting this part selection tool and we're now going to move this part to somewhere here so now okay so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this view or rather layer then we're going to go to vector max then we're going to click on current part then we're going to go to this layer tab over here and we're going to right click and we're going to duplicate the layer duplicate layer and click ok okay so now we are going to look at this this image now that we've cropped out to this circle we are going to hold ctrl c and we're going to copy it and ctrl v that is paste it here so we're just going to paste this here so the same thing i'm going to do this for all these other images um, representing the key locations we just placed on the land use map So now we've placed all these um, images, cropped images. We're just going to push them to the edges and make sure they are the edges. So the next thing I'm going to do is that as I placed all this space, I'm going to locate a tag to them. So I'm going to be calling this auto star number one, this one number two, number three, number four, and number five. 
okay so i'm going to be putting placing these tags in accordance to these images so for instance this auto star is number one so i'm going to leave this as number one this image over here is is located here so i'm just going to change this to number two this text to number two i'm going to do the same for a corresponding tax left so i'm just going to make sure this is placed well and i'm going to do this for this this number three also this one is number okay this is number four then this is number three all right so now we've actually we have annotated these locations and we have actually placed their images here so what am i going to do next i'm going to start copying the corresponding numbers and writing the name of this location here to indicate that this is number one and this is the name of the location so i'm going to click on this number one digit i'm going to hold out on my keyboard and i'm just going to drag it over here so now i'm going to go to this tab over here and i'm going to try and increase the size okay it has disappeared because of my editing margin box was too small so i'm going to click on ctrl z to undo then i'm going to zoom in i'm going to double click on it then i'm going to increase this box here all right now i'm going to make this text now i'm going to increase it to 72 or rather i'm even going to make it bigger let's make it 8. wonderful so now this text is here now so i'm going to place this text here then i'm going to also copy it one more time this time i'm going to make it smaller so i'm going to use this new text now to actually write the name of this location so i'm going to reduce the size to let's say 18 then i'm going to go here or let's increase it a bit let's make it 24 then i'm going to go here and annotate increase this text box increase it then annotate auto star travels just as the image implies auto star travels okay i just noticed something that the, the gap vertical gap between these two text after pressing enter is too much so i could go here and reduce it to 24. select all of them reduce it to 20 let's say 24. Uh, 24 is a bit too compact let me use 30 and i think that is just fine so i'm just going to leave it here i'm going to zoom out and i'm just going to try and place it just at the base and put the number there then i'm just going to click on this hold shift click on this text too then i'm going to copy it to this other location images so now i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to hit a brief glance so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start editing there i'm going to change this one to number two as it is and give it the name the name i want to give i'll click on this good if it is good thing then I'm just going to start editing this. Alright, so we've currently edited all this text. So what we're going to be doing next is now the finishing touches. So to start, we are going to put the title here. So before I start my title, I'll go to this shape to create a base shape. Then I'm going to click on rectangle. Also, don't forget, once you've changed this to part, always remember to change it back to shape to create a shape. Then I'm going to hold shift. Okay, I don't need to hold shift because I want to create a rectangle. I don't want to create a perfect square. So I will release shift and just create this perfect square here. Or rectangle rather. Then I'm going to click on this select box. Then I'm going to place this here. So I have option of choosing between black and white, but I prefer white. Then I'm going to change this box to white. Go to this color palette over here change it to white okay let's create a text we're going to right click we're now going to click horizontal type text and we're going to just write this text here so we're going to click on backspace and write land use map okay so now we've created this text we're just going to edit it and try and increase the size okay so i think the size is good enough so as you can see the final thing we're going to do is we're just going to do some 
aesthetic touch on this side just to blow out this edge of this image so uh, to do that we're just going to click on it and go to this layers where the thing is visible and highlighted then we're just going to click on this box tab over here and we are going to go to this gradient tool here then we are going to click on it we are going to click on this gradient and place it somewhere around here place this movable tab somewhere around there and leave these other settings which are okay then click ok then we are going to hold shift on our keyboard and just drag this line here it's too much we could hold shift again drag it a bit we could go back to this tab if the blur is kind of too sharp and drag this back then we'll just hold shift and drag it so i think we are good to go so now we'll finish doing this so the final thing we're going to do is to export it we're going to go to file over here we're going to click on export we're going to click on export as sometimes this will take long but it's worth the width all right so we're just going to click on export and we're going to name this as Amen. So as you can see, we actually have a very informative land use map and you can use this for your presentation and improve on your informative presentations in school or wherever you're presenting. So if this video was helpful and you want to learn more about Photoshop, you could check out our Photoshop plays where we teach people tools how to use photoshop for various architectural purposes you could also check out our other software tutorial series like revit d5 lumion and so much more so we really appreciate your support for this channel make sure you hit the like button subscribe also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos thank you very much and have a nice day